Hi guys, it's Rose, and welcome back to A Spoonful of Geekiness. You will notice that my backdrop is not my normal bookcase. Um, that is because I'm in Missouri, and I am here for the whole summer with my best friend and her family. Um, this is Turtle, by the way. <laughs> um, so I'll be recording a couple of videos using... Sir Willow's background, who happens to be the dad of my best friend. I'll link him down below in the description. So this is going to be a little bit of story time plus just chill time, kind of like for my birthday. Um, I have a whole bunch of clips of Missouri that I'm going to insert and tell you about because it is so pretty up here. It is just so beautiful. Coming from Florida, where we have about three types of trees and any source of water that's in nature, including puddles, are murky. We can't see to the bottom of them and they always contain things that want to kill us. Um, if you hear noise in the background, that is the Puggle Ginger. You will see her on the Introducing to Animals clip that I have. So, I am having fun. I've been here for almost a little more than two weeks. Um, so, uh, the dog. Um, so, I do have quite a while to go. I will be filming with Sir Willow, who I mentioned just a few seconds ago. Um, we'll be doing some nerdy stuff about like Star Trek, because I love Star Trek and he loves Star Trek. So I'll definitely be doing that. I'm also stealing his comfy chair. I don't have a comfy chair in my setup at home. So I'm enjoying the comfy chair. Uh, so let's start with some story time on my flight up to Missouri from Florida. Obviously, I am a huge book nerd. You guys know this. In fact, this shirt even says, my Patronus is a bookworm. Um, it, that's actually a gift from one of the friends uh, from YouTube, and I love it. But um, So, obviously, if I'm going to stay for two months away from all of my books, I need to bring a decent amount with me. So I did. Um, ten books including my Bible. <laughs> uh, I honestly didn't think it was going to be a problem, but apparently TSA thought it was a huge problem. They unpacked all of my stuff. All of it. If you follow me on TikTok, you would have seen the video. I did the little cute Into the Thick of It song and showed all that they had unpacked. Also, the AC was out in the terminal I was in, in Florida, in summer. I was dying. I was pretty much as red as my hair. Um, <laughs> it, was, it was not fun. So TSA unpacked everything, flipped through every single one of my books. And I mean, I get it. You can hide like razors and stuff in there, I guess. But all of them? So, okay. But, so, yeah, I got tagged and flagged by TSA for having too many books. So after that, and after I repacked all my stuff, I couldn't find my gate. I was just wandering around like my section of the airport trying to find my gate because I'd never been in that section of the airport before. And eventually I found it and at that point my muscles were screaming. I felt like I was dying. I was exhausted. I hadn't slept at all the night before that. So I was really, really tired. Um, got up here, actually lasted the entire first day that I was up here, which was a Monday. Um, didn't take a nap. I just couldn't. I was too wired on just the adrenaline of the trip and everything. Also, I couldn't sleep on the plane because there was a kid kicking my seat. Oh, but there was also this, like, precious little grandma that, and her daughter that sat next to me on the plane 
and the girl was like looking at all this stuff and I was like do you want to look at my sketchbook because she was just reading the menu on the plane um over and over and I was like do you want to look at my sketchbook because I had that in my purse and she said yeah and then um I have this enormous thing of pens in like every color and I said do you want to draw in it and she was like yeah and so she drew something she signed it for me um I have a picture of her that I will show you I did get permission from her daughter to use the picture so um no worries there and she drew in my sketchbook and so I'll put those two pictures right about here she was incredibly precious um, so I didn't mind too much my, that I didn't get to sleep on my flight, um, even though there was a kid that kicking the back of my seat. I was just happy that I got to make her day. And she signed it for me and everything is so cute. Um, so I got up here on Monday, um, got settled in and everything. Uh, my family that I am staying with, um, that I love, that they are my second family, um, I am on the couch, and I'm, like, totally fine with that. Everyone's like, I'm so sorry. But, no, I'm like, I can sleep on the floor and eat scraps. I'm fine. Um, we did get some bad news, however, a couple days after I got here. Um, or about a week after I got here. Uh, the, par the parents are pastors and missionaries and I'm staying with them and they discovered that because of COVID this missionary trip that they'd been planning wasn't going to happen when they had it scheduled for and um, they were just so sad about it I was sad for them they've been planning this for years and you know if you can give them some prayer just because you know, it, it's a it's a really difficult time for them. I mean, anyone who's waited years for something and then have it confirmed one week and then taken away the next, I mean, you're going to be devastated by that. So, you know, we're working through it because they were supposed to leave and me and my best friend were supposed to house sit the house and the pets. This is my new best friend since I had to leave my kitties at home. Um... So, you know, then they were upset that I was still, that I was going to get stuck on the couch for the whole summer. And I told them not to worry about it, like that I was fine. And then they were like, we're not going to be able to pay you. And I'm like, you didn't have to pay me anyways. So, um, they were kind of stressed about that, but I'm totally cool. I get to stay up here. Um, I also get to help lead worship at the church that they pastor at, and I will definitely throw in um, some of those clips along with like all of the other little clips I've been taking over the past couple weeks in at the end and um, so I'll show you the church that I'm singing at and everything and I'll even link their Facebook page in the description so if you want to tune in for a Sunday morning service or if you want to tune in for a Wednesday night service you can I'm having a lot of fun I love worship I, I'm on the worship team back home and so it's a lot of fun for me to be able to do that and also just be a part of their congregation for a while. Good thing about being up here is that I'm gonna get to record so many things that I wouldn't have gotten to record or well at least not to my standards that I could have in Florida because the nature up here, like I said, is beautiful and it's gonna give me great backdrops and it's a little tiny town, it's so cute, it's so cozy and like the, the film, the moment that I look around, I'm like, the filming opportunities everywhere. Um, it's so that, that's, that's really cool. Um, so I'll be doing my music videos starting actually this Thursday. I'm really excited um, because I've had the track recorded for a while. Um, it is actually So Big So Small from Dear Evan Hansen, which I wanted to do in celebration of the announcement of the Dear Evan Hansen movie coming out. So I know I'm a little late 
to that announcement and celebrating that, but I still wanted to do it. So that will be coming up this Thursday. And I'm also working on a bunch of other music videos too and covers. Um, I can do, I can do things with more than one person now because I have my best friend and then I have another friend up here who loves to sing. So I can do like Candy Store from Heather's, which I'm so excited to do. Um, I love that song. I love Heather's. Uh, I can do that. I can do like other things that have more of an ensemble kind of, you know, feel to them. And so yeah, I'm really excited about that, um, that I might get to record with some of my friends and you know, hopefully I'm not dragging them into something that they absolutely hate. <laughs> but, uh, it's all fun. Um, more regular geekiness videos will be resuming next week. Um, I'm planning a book review on one of my favorite standalone books of all time, which if you haven't watched my top 13 standalone books video, you should go do that. This book is on there. Um, so I'm planning a review on that book and then also that uh, collab video with Sir Willow on Star Trek as well as just some other like geeky videos similar to my vampires video where I just talk about random book things and random fantasy things because um, that's what I excel at. <laughs> just random geekiness. I'll also be making, obviously, a video or two with my best friend or both Hufflepuffs. So prepare for a Hufflepuff video. Yeah. Uh, also, if you guys would like to see some of my other stuff that I like, some of the other stuff that I do, um, I'm trying to be way active on TikTok as much as I can. I'm kind of learning the ropes of it still, even though I started it like, a month ago, month and a half ago, um, but so I'm still learning kind of all the ins and outs and everything, but I'm having a lot of fun on it, which is the important part. So um, that will be down below. I have my link tree. You can check out my Instagram. You can check out my Spotify and see what kind of music I listen to. It's mostly Broadway, <laughs> um, but you can check that, that out. And um, also, obviously, I'll give you that my handle for TikTok is in my link tree and hopefully you'll go check that out. Kind of look at the other stuff that I do if long rambly videos are not for you because <laughs> they're not for everybody. Um, but I would definitely recommend ch checking out my TikTok. I am having fun on it. I'm going to start doing more OC characters. Um, you know, so I'm going to be having a lot of fun this summer and I am going to be doing lots of things that I'm sure I will share with you. Like, the other day, I swam in a lake for the first time. I've never swum in a lake. Uh, that would be because in Florida, every lake has at least one family of alligators. And if you happen to bother them, they want to eat you. That and there's snapping turtles. There's gator snapping turtles that also want to eat you or remove a limb. Um, there's lots of snakes that want to make you die. But here, like, there was a cute little snake, like just a little water snake that, that I was in the lake and it pooped up his head and it was so cute. And I didn't have to be afraid of it because it didn't want to, it didn't want to interact with humans. And I was able to swim and not worry about being eaten. Also, I could see through the water, which is insane. In Florida, you can't see through any of the water. Like, even if it's only like this deep, you cannot see through the water. And I could see my feet at the bottom. And I was ecstatic. Uh, I will have videos of the lake again. Of course, we're going to go back. Um, so that's going to be super fun. But yeah, my first time swimming in the lake, pretty good. I, I, I'd give it an, I'd give it a 9 out of 10. The only reason I'm knocking off point is because I did kind of a not smart thing and 
I didn't bring water shoes. I was like, oh, I'm, I'll be fine. I walk on Florida beaches with like sharp razor like seashell fragments and I'm all fine with that and I walk on hot sand and like I got yeah I have tough feet um that was a mistake there are rocks everywhere up here so I kind of bruised up my feet um luckily I didn't cut my feet on anything but did order a pair of water shoes for the next time we go to the lake because I'm not going through that again <laughs> But it was a lot of fun. I got a couple of rocks from it. Um, definitely, I will be posting a lake video. And then at the end of the summer, what I do want to make is I want to make like this huge kind of like slideshow video collection of everything I've done this summer. So I hope you guys are looking forward to that. I hope you guys are looking forward to some of the new content that I'm going to be making, as well as my collab with Sir Willow, who is basically my second dad. Um, he's known me since I was 10, this whole family has, and I am just really excited to be up here with them. So I will let you go watch those clips. I hope you enjoy them. I hope you enjoy the nature and the fun and everything. So I hope you guys enjoy the fun and I hope that you enjoyed the new content that I'll be uploading soon. So I hope that that was a spoonful of geekiness for the day. I'm a geek, so I think it counts. <laughs> and as a madman in a box once said, run fast, laugh hard, and be kind. Bye guys. I've never seen a truck on a railroad ever. I've never seen a truck on a railroad. <laughs> I've seen it a couple times out here. There's trees. A, a variety of trees. Florida doesn't have anything but tiny little pine trees. Nope. I like the trees in this area. Well, I mean the birds especially in this area. Oh yeah, it's so weird to wake up in the morning and like hear birds singing. Mm -hmm. All you had in Florida are the birds that sound like the car alarm. Yep. And we had some woodpeckers, but they don't really sing. We had one bird, I'm not sure. Look, what it just it, was. It, it just looks like the scene from a fantasy movie. <laughs> a fairy tale book. not to get the bright blue umbrella in the shots. over here before. Yeah, yeah, I can tell from the pictures. But you can see how far it goes. This is the James River, so it's just very, very far. I can actually sort of see the bottom. That's so weird. I kind of hope we get a couple more days of uh, a lot of heat, so that way the water when we go visit Megan is warm.
Look at this. It's it's beautiful. And I just saw my first beaver and I can see to the bottom of this water and I can put my feetsies in. It's just so pretty. Do you see that? That is a beaver. Lost him. It's over there. Ah! I don't know where he's gone. Where, where'd he go? By the second he's tree. Out of the water by the second tree. Oh, yes. I... Ah! I lost my train of thought, I lost my train of thought. <sighs> so, I will see you guys next week. Bye! Crap, I didn't do my regular outro! <gasps> Nothing! <laughs>